What's up, Solutionaries? Maj Toure here for your edition, daily weekday edition of Solutionary. Every Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, we tap in, we talk about politics, culture, civics, firearms, health and fitness, all of the stuff that makes us a solutionary. What's up, everybody? If you're coming in, hit that like button. Oh, we're we coming in hot. Our brother Ryan Jackson coming in hot with the first, he's setting the precedent. The precedent is set. Our brother Ryan Jackson come through with the $40 super chat from the gate. It's a hell of a way to start the episode. Today, Solutionaries, we're going to have a conversation about Tim Waltz. Um, the vice presidential debate was a few days ago, a few evenings ago. Um, and it was it finally got to the conversation as it relates to the Second Amendment. And uh, so we're going to talk about that again today. If you're coming in, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. If you are watching this on youtube.com forward slash Maj Toure, comment. If you're watching this on X, repost it. Repost it, man. The only way we get this message out, I know Elon bought the joint, right? Elon bought the joint, but the joint's still throttled. Tweet cred is still a thing. Tweet cred is still a thing. If you don't know what tweet cred is, somebody comment in the section what tweet cred is. Tweet cred is still a thing. And he's on Twitter for... However long he's owned it now, and I this whole like, oh, it takes a while to do the coding. I'm just not buying that shit no more. But anyway, guys, thank you, Ryan. Ryan says, what's up, brother? Keep doing God's work. I appreciate you, brother. So we still bat, we still throttled on these platforms. That's why we want you all to hit the like button. We still gonna talk about this, 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 this Walt thing, man. Uh let me let me go ahead and pull this up on the screen real quick one time for everybody. Uh where is it at? Let me see here. Let's get this up on the screen. Let's present. Share screen. Okay, guys. What we got here? Waltz, Vance and Waltz politely spar over gun control in the vice presidential debate. I, I'm not a fan of the debates. I want y'all to be very clear. I think that the debates at this point... I, so the presidential debate was in Philadelphia. You know, I had high hopes. You know, Amber Rose follows me now. She's a seasoned, mature, beautiful young, you know, young lady. Uh, I had high hopes. She follows me on X and Instagram, Twitter, you know, and Instagram. I, I, I envisioned a day where maybe me and Amber Rose could roll down to, you know, she she going Trump, right? I envisioned a day where maybe we could roll down there to the joint in the Constitution Center and kind of find out together, chop it up, you know, have a little drink, something, you know, get us some Black Guns Matter merch, right, and all of that. And what happened was there was no public availability. There was no tickets. No one could go into the Constitution Center. They had it locked down. You know, I'm talking about the morning before. And so at that moment, I just was like, Mm. And 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 now I, I generally feel like a lot of the presidential and vice presidential debates is just it's just political theater. A lot of it. Now, sometimes there's some great scenarios that come out of it where some of the facts get presented. Perfect example of that is Tulsi Gabbard roasting Harris in that presidential election a while back and at those debates. But generally, it's not going to move the needle. I, I'm just not a fan. So I'm even less of a fan of vice presidential debates. But every so often, Vance and Waltz, you know, they, they went into my wheelhouse. They went into the conversation about the Second Amendment. They went into these things. And I thought that was very important. So today we're going to talk about that a little bit. OK, I got some video to show you guys. If you're tapping in right now, guys, you know, we got two hundred dollars. We try to get on every every uh stream we've yet to hit two hundred dollars ryan started us off with 40 so we need 160 more so if we get what 16 160 10 folks at 16 let's get 10 let's get eight folks at 20 dollars. eight more folks at 20 dollars gets us to our thing today everybody that's giving on rumble on whatever thing what's up rob how you um people that are giving please make sure that you're naming a small business yourself your social media just give a shout out to something or someone so they get some of the love and i'll give you a shout out live as well for that so if we can get 10 folks every time to give us 20 dollars, that's 200 dollars a stream that's a thousand dollars a week going towards the work all of your 
super chats and things of that nature go towards our work, our tour, buying the Solutionary Center and things like that. So Vance and Waltz politely spar over gun control in a vice presidential debate. It took three debates, but we finally got a question, two actually, on gun control in the Second Amendment. We also got perhaps the strangest statement ever uttered on a vice presidential debate stage, thanks to Tim Waltz. Waltz is, it's something weird about Waltz. Y'all tell me in the comment section what y'all think. I think it's something weird about me, man. I, 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 he's like really awkward. He's like really awkward. So this is from BearingArms.com, by the way. Um, shouts to Bearing Arms. I've, they've done a few stories on our work at BGM. Shouts to AR15.com. Shouts to Brownell. Shouts to everybody, right? Doing that sec good Second Amendment work. About an hour into the debate, Republican J.D. Vance was asked if he thought holding parents responsible for their children's crimes would help curb school shootings. Question for Vance. Vance's answer was perfectly reasonable. It depends on the specific circumstances of the case. Sometimes the answer will be yes, sometimes no. Vance acknowledged that we need to do better on the issue of gun violence. The question is, how do we do it? Vance pointed out that the vast majority of gun violence, and we're doing them air quotes because, you know, violence is violence, is committed with illegally obtained firearms, which was the perfect opportunity to bring up Kamala Harris's extensive history of attacking lawful gun owners in the name of public safety. Instead, Vance oddly implied that the Biden-Harris administration's open border policies have led to cartels running guns north into the United States. Pivoting back to school safety, Trump's running mate said as much as he doesn't like it, there's a need to improve school security. Without hitting any of Harris's proposals specifically, Vance declared that the idea that we can have a wave a magic wand and take guns out of hands of bad guys isn't feasible. Waltz led off his response by noting that the teenage son witnessed his teenage son witnessed a shooting at a rec center volleyball game before launching into a staccato word salad that included back to back phrases. I'm a hunter. I own guns. And the vice president is, too. Then we got this gym. Oh, man, let's play this. Let's see what we got. And look, I'm a hunter. I own firearms. Hold on, hold on. let me the pause this. Y'all got, y'all know I got my, my, my classical music on. Let me, let me pause that real quick. Let me pause that. All right, let's go back to it. It is. We understand that the Second Amendment is there, but our first responsibility is to our kids to figure this out. Let's play that again. I want to hear you. I want y'all to hear what he's saying. We understand that the Second Amendment, Kanye shrugged. Is there. Let's play it again. And look, I'm a hunter. I own firearms. The vice president is. We understand that the Second Amendment is there, but our first responsibility is to our kids to figure this out. And look, I so I want to be very clear. The Second Amendment is not just. Just there. The Second Amendment is not just there. For those of you that haven't taken our civics course, I recommend that you do. OK, um. The Second Amendment is one, the second of 10 amendments enshrined into our Constitution of the Bill of Rights in alignment with that Constitution as a check on government. It is not just there. It is the thing that makes every one of our human rights that government is forced to respect and not overreach into. It is there to make sure that we have the tools to defend that if and when government tries to overreach. So it's not just there. And when you say as a potential elected, uh, like uh, he's, he is an elected official. When you say something like our first ob obligation is to protect our children, that's a duh. But you're not, we're not asking you your moral position as it relates to children. Duh. And the other part of that is we protect children with firearms. All of these presidential candidates have people with guns walking around with them all the time, all the time. So their first response is to defend you with a firearm, which means that same tool is appropriate for us defending our children. OK, this argument that I'm a hunter, I have guns. If you saw this image for this stream, it's him in an Elmer Fudd con uh, outfit. And the reason why it's a fucking Elmer Fudd outfit and reason is because these FUDs think, oh, all you need is a shotgun. I'm a hunter. You don't need that many types of guns. All you need is... That's where the phrase FUD comes from, like an Elmer FUD. you never seen Elmer FUD with a handgun. you never seen Elmer FUD with an AR, only the shotgun, okay? 
And this is the thought process that you can identify when a FUD tries to show up. Oh, I, I, I'm a hunter. We're not trying to take the firearms. We're, uh, no. <laughs> he don't fucking hunt. Let's read on a little bit more. That's one of the favorite straw men. Exactly. That's one of the favorite straw men of the gun control lobby. If you don't support our quote unquote common sense gun laws, then you must care more about your guns than children, even your own. We've seen this libel directed at the parents of children who've been murdered in a school shooting. OK. This this. Let's, let's keep going. Waltz then brought up Finland, claiming they don't have school shootings, even though they have a lot of guns. As it turns out, school shootings are not unheard of in Finland. But I don't think that really matters to Waltz. He brought up Finland as part of his spiel about not infringing on the Second Amendment, once again claiming that you can still keep your guns, even though he said in the same breath that he doesn't make sense to have some of these weapons out there. Waltz then mentioned Kamala Harris's work as California Attorney General. He didn't cite any of the gun control laws she defended. Unfortunately, now this is where it's key, and I love that Bearing Arms did this. This is our brother, okay? The article is written, I want y'all to see this. The article is written by Cam Edwards. Cam is a Second Amendment guy. Cam actually hunts. I know Cam. I know Cam. Known Cam for a few years, right? But Cam is going to keep it a buck. He says, unfortunately, neither did, neither did J.D. Vance. Instead, he went back to Walter's point about Finland, arguing that there are fundamental differences between our two countries with the United States having higher rates of substance abuse, depression, and anxiety. Vance talked about a national mental health crisis, saying it's not the whole reason, but a big component of quote-unquote gun violence. Once again, Vance completely ignored Harris's support for handgun bans in San Francisco and Washington, D.C., her criticism of the Bruin decision, her declaration that law enforcement could walk into locked homes of lawful gun owners to see how their firearms were stored, her previous support for a mandatory buyback of so-called assault weapons, or any of the other anti-Second Amendment policies she's advocated for over the years. Waltz got the last word and question on the topic, with the moderators asking him why he changed mind on an ass so-called assault weapon ban, which he previously opposed while representing a rural district in Congress. This is where the shit get wild, y'all. My man said, I've become friends with school shooters. This is another reason why I'm saying, yo, main man is weird. Homie's a weirdo. If you're just coming into the chat, wherever you're watching it at, if you are watching this on X, retweet it. You just retweet it. Cost you nothing. Cost you nothing. If you're watching this on YouTube.com forward slash Maj 2 Ray, share it. If you're watching this on Rumble.com forward slash Maj 2 Ray, share it. Regardless of where you're watching it, if you're not watching it on YouTube or Rumble, subscribe to those channels. This, the YouTube channel, less than 10% of the people that watch it actually like or subscribe. So hit subscribe on YouTube.com forward slash Maj 2 Ray. We're trying to get that page to 35,000 subscribers. I think we at 31 point something now. But listen, guys, I want you all to look at this one right here. Let's watch this video. OK, main man talking about I've become friends with school shooters. Let's hit this and see. What I he's sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look. What? What? Yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look, I'm going to go one more time. I think this shit might be AI. And I ain't talking about Alan Iverson. <laughs> what? Yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look, yeah, I sat now, in that I'm going to give them the benefit over doubt, guys. I'm going to give them the benefit over doubt. There may be some context that that clip cut it out. Okay? Freudian slip, maybe. Who knows? It's just weird. I've never become friends with school shooters. The m friends of mine that are monsters that shoot people had a damn good, like, and then enjoy shooting people, okay? They monsters, and I don't know if I can be their friends until they grow certain, and I knew them back in the day. I'll say it that way. But I'm not friends with people that's doing violent crimes. I'm not. I'm not their friend. I'm not, a person is a school shooter or a robber or a killer, and I'm going out my way to make friends with them. Fuck them, all right? And we got to stop this, like, acting like that's not a, <laughs> this is not a normal sentence, guys. Let's read, Tim Waltz has become friends with school shooters, plural, plural? We talking about some MK Ultra shit? You know something that we don't know, Mr. Waltz? I don't think so, Tim. 
One would be weird enough, but just how many school shooters is Tim Walz palling around with? I have no idea what Walz is talking about, but I can't wait to see the campaign spin about that comment. Waltz ended his response by essentially accusing Vance of stigmatizing mental illness and said that when it comes to violence, sometimes it's just the guns. These are the same people that are get on here and gas like the shit out of y'all saying we're not trying to take anybody's guns. First of all, you can't. If you try, stack the fuck up, stack up, show up. Let's see how that goes for you. But they won't do that. What they will do is get law enforcement agents, put them at risk of violating their own constitutional oath and put them at risk sending them to somebody's home in Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, insert wherever to come violate their constitutional rights, constitutionally protected human rights. OK, so this whole sometimes it's just the gun conversation. You know is a contradiction to we're not trying to take your guns. Clearly, they just flip-flop. This entire administration just flip-flops every single chance they get. Sayaba says, doesn't mean he's friends with them, just that he finds enough affinity with them to be friends. I don't find an affinity to be friends with people that murder people. You, Say Sayaba, I see, I see you doing a great job of extending the fucking olive branch. Kudos to you for being that objective. Kudos. I'm not that objective. I'm not. I have no quarter to keep with someone that would go into people's children's schools and attempt to shoot them. I don't want to be their friend. I don't want you the other side. And with me, it's forever fuck the other side. Forever. Fuck you. I don't have any problem with Quam being very clear about who I don't rock with. But listen, if you have reached that level of Shangri-La, my brother, hey, I think it's a little strange that you want to create room for him. Or maybe you're giving him a little objective olive branch. Cool. All right. No problem. While Vance missed a couple of perfect opportunities to inform voters about uh, Kamala Harris's anti 2 way extremism. His answers were generally thoughtful and substantive. Waltz, on the other hand, sounded like he was going through a mental checklist at times and never got beyond talking points and bumper sticker slogans. It was interest. It was an interesting approach by Vance. He wasn't talking to gun owners to reassure them that Trump administration was going to protect their Second Amendment rights. Instead, he was talking to parents and telling them that the Trump administration didn't need to go after the Second Amendment in order to protect their kids. Now, I want to be clear about that. Tactically, I understand that because the platform that you're on as someone that does. I just did a shade room debate on should the Electoral College um, still be a thing. And it was on the shade room. They have a, a political thing called Read the Room. OK, and. That room was overwhelmingly leftist, overwhelmingly. And, and it was, you know, the, the moderator, she was anti-gun. And, and I, I think she did the best that she could do because I truly believe a lot of those folks generally want the death to stop. I truly believe that, right? But when you're reading that room, you can't, I can't be as adversarial as I would normally be, right? When somebody's making a clearly wrong statement. So my approach shifted a bit. It was, hey, y'all, I'm one of y'all. I just, I just don't want us to be un uninformed and unarmed and that was received well as opposed to um talking to people that know what you know most of these people that's listening to these platforms have never read the constitution don't read anything about don't understand american history don't know why the constitution was fought and the bill of rights was fought to put in there they don't know they just triggered by the word gun or racism or whatever insert word and their critical thinking kind of like falls away. So I'm not mad at this approach by, uh, what's his name? Vance, because you got to read the room. You have to read. That's literally what the, uh, shade room thing is called. Read the room. Okay. Um, let's go back to what Cam is saying here. I still think he could have done so while documenting the extreme positions of Kamala, that Kamala Harris has taken. I agree with that. After all, there are plenty of parents out there who own and carry a firearm in order to protect their children, and Harris has repeatedly made it clear that she has a problem with that. But on both points in substance, I'd give the edge to Vance. If nothing else, he didn't bring up any friendship with school shooters, and I, I'm, I'm feeling that part. Guys, listen here, solutionaries. 
I am I am in agreement with Cam there on the approach, you know, and trying to create a way where folks can uh, understand the position because they'll try to package you just like we can package Vance being a weirdo because of the shit he says. Like I've become friends with school shooters, right? I'm that's that's, that's like almost kind of like saying I've become friends with rapists. What? I can understand that every human has a human right to do whatever. Okay? I can understand that. I can understand all of those. I can understand that. But I'm not going to be friendly with them. I understand that weirdos, like if they do weird shit, they should have the right to keep and bear arms. Because the people that they do weird shit to, their fa friends and family members may not be feeling that. Okay? And since they may not be feeling that, they better have it themselves capable of defending themselves. So I'm not mad at the, um, I'm not mad at the approach, but going too far is to try to extend too much of an olive branch to an unnecessary murderer. Okay, that's very important. Guys, if you're tapping in on the chat, let's get these likes up. Let's get these likes up. If you're watching this on X, I want you to repost it. This happens every Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Solutionary. We talk about all of the different things that's going on, pop culture, all that other type of stuff. Uh, I want to I want to jump into some other things. I want to show y'all if well y'all saw the whole like uh what is it shit called? Uh 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 it sometimes it's just a gun statement. So that's one thing. But I want to I want to bring this someone up next up to the stage. Uh, it's it's a little weird as well. It's a little weird as well. Okay? Let's check this out. Tim Waltz says rights shouldn't depend on geography except the right to carry. Now, that might sound a little weird, especially if you didn't watch the whole thing. Very important. Bookworm said to donate by Cash App. That's the Cash App. If anybody want to do the Cash App, if y'all ain't watching it on YouTube or whatever, if you want to donate to the work, again, guys, all of your support goes towards the work and the classes, our fundraising for the building. We got Chicago this Friday. We got... Uh, what is it called? Baton Rouge. We got Phoenix. We got Cleveland. We got St. Louis. All of those cities are coming up. Very, very important, guys. We want to make sure we tap in. And we are able to keep these classes free to all because of your voluntary donations and support. All right. Just want to be so that I'm gonna leave the cash app up there for a while. And obviously, you guys see the gifts and go. We had a $40 donor. Ryan Jackson was the first one. We need 60 more for 160 more dollars. Uh, let's get, uh, what did we say, 18 more folks at the $20 level, all right? So let's read this. Let's check this out real quick. Tim Walt says rights shouldn't, de shouldn't depend on geography except the right to carry. When the vice presidential candidates were debating abortion policies on Tuesday night, J.D. Vance laid out the Trump campaign's position and that the issue was best left up to the states to decide. Tim Waltz, on the other hand, pushed for a uniform national standard, arguing that restrictive laws in one state will put women at risk by forcing them to travel to states with less restrictive laws to obtain an abortion. Quote, how can we as a nation say that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to control your own body, is determined on geography? Waltz wondered, end quote. If Waltz really does believe that, then he's a hypocrite. In 2018, at the same event where Tim Waltz falsely claimed to have carried a weapon in war while calling for a ban on modern sporting rifles, Waltz also declared his opposition to national right to carry reciprocity. Now, let's pull, up, let's, let's pull back for a minute. Let's pull back for a minute. This right to carry, national carry legislation, has been a conversation that has been looming around for some time now. It's been looming for some time now. The conversation about you got a driver's license, you know, and that driver's license it allows you to drive as long as you follow in the rules of each state. You don't have to have a different state ID or license for each state that you can drive in. So you should be able to move about freely. So Waltz, in essence, is talking about, yo, we should be able, women should be able to move about nationally, not states to states. That will make them more at risk. They're, they should be able to move about because their body's important. But then again, in 2018, when the conversation was about humans and defending their body, this is what he said. I've been voting for common sense legislation that protects the Second Amendment, but we can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't don't have reciprocal carry among states. 
We can make sure that we don't have reciprocal carry among states, and we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place those weapons are at. Stop the fucking cat. I own a gun too, face ass. Okay? Stop the cat. Stop the cat. You never carried it. You ain't a gun toter. You never, I hate that in the hood. We hate, I hate a motherfucker that act like he, yo, bro, you ain't got it. Like, I tell people all of the time, I'm not a gun guy. I carry a tool. You see what I'm saying? I carry a tool. That's what I do. You ain't never been in no fucking street shit. You ain't never been in that. That's, to military dudes, that's stolen valor. That's the most disrespect. They got friends that they went through basic training with, got to a unit with, got to a squad with. That never made it back home. And you out here talking about, yeah, I was over there carrying them things. Stop. Stop. And then he turns around and says, oh, when I was over there carrying that, them, toting, that th toting that iron, that's the only place we should be toting that iron. And in stark contradiction, women have the right. To defend their body and do what they do with their body. and But in 2018, and we can make sure that those weapons of war I carried in war is the only place those weapons are. We can make sure that we don't have reciprocal carry among states. Reciprocal carry just means if I have a license to carry in my state, I can carry as long as I'm following the rules. If I drunk drive and smash into somebody in a state that my license is not my, my natural, you know, my residency state. I get in trouble. Same thing with guns. You violate somebody, you point, you point your firearm at somebody, you brandish, you shoot somebody, you rob somebody, you still held to the same standard. So you understand that concept when it comes to murdering children. Women need access to go to different places to murder children, in essence. Women need access. We need to let the women, especially the black ones, we need them to be able to have the means to go to any state they want and kill a kid up until nine months. But you don't want people to have the means to not be killed as adults. I happen to go to Chicago pretty often. You want me to not have that thing on me when I'm in Chicago for even if I got a license in a different state. The contradictions are glaring. They're glaring. Okay, let's read some more. Tim Waltz claims to be a Second Amendment supporter. In fact, he said in 2018 that he voted to protect the Second Amendment. Yet, Waltz also believes that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to armed self-defense, depends on geography. Sure, you may be able to get a carry permit in the state you live, but once you cross the state line, your right to bear arms disappears as far as Waltz is concerned. Y'all, the game is rigged. The game is rigged. And they're telling you, fortunately, we have people doing journalistic integrity-based work like Cam Edwards. Fortunately, we have the internet where we going and going like, mm, you said that over there. And we they flip-flop so much, they so used to it that they don't even recognize like, yo, we seen you last week said this. Kamala Harris at the presidential debate said, we're not, me and Waltz, we're gun owners. They get the FUD line. We're gun owners. We're nobody trying to take your guns. Then literally two days later, it was like, yeah, assault weapons ban. And they mean AR-15s, which is my gun. Come on, y'all. We, we, we got to get involved. We got to get involved. We got to get involved. Sayaba says he also didn't serve 30 years in the Army. If you calculate his, his hours or tours, Vance has more time in service. I had 21 months in Iraq, which is more than his service, i.e. getting activated. Listen, guys. These people don't expect you to hold their feet to the fire about your human rights and self-defense. They expect you to just be on some tap dance like, oh, well, that's the black chicken. He's supporting white guys for Harris. Even while they're saying it's, not, it's wrong to be race-based. And don't get me fucking wrong. There's certain shit that black people, all different groups of people in America had very specific things targeted for them. I'm going to be very clear about that. Okay? So I'm not a person that's not going to act like, redlining, Jim Crow, <laughs> gun control wasn't designed to fuck black people over. I'm not. But I'm also not going to be like, yeah, just get behind the black person. I'm not fucking slim thug. I'm not just going to be like, man, I'm just going to vote for the black woman. How you not going to vote? I don't even know her policies, but I'm going to vote. That's retarded. It's stupid. I'll say it that way because not YouTube, right? We cannot...
Guys, we got to get vocal about this. We have to be vocal and loud about it. Factual, respectful, vocal. The reason why I was sentenced today for gun charges in Philadelphia. I was sentenced today for that. If you're coming in, hit the like button. Repost, repost, repost. Everybody repost. We only got a few more minutes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about all of this. Let's talk about it. When you have a general population that has no understanding of American history, the reason why the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights was created, the painstaking efforts that went into making sure that those rights were protected constitutionally, limiting the government, you get public servants that say this type of flip-flop shit, and they are very, very, it's like disrespectful to your intelligence. They would have you believe that they could speak out of both sides of their mouth and you're not getting it. No, you're speaking with a forked tongue. And we are aware. But if you are quiet about it, if you're not empowering yourself, you're not taking the classes, you're not signing up for civics classes, you're not getting that curriculum that we give for everybody, and we're not putting everybody out there to get more informed and shifting the landscape of what it looks like to be uh, an American citizen of any background. If you're not doing that, if you're not doing that, we're making it available and easy for these people to be the goofballs that they are and influence other Americans. You cannot say, that, listen, I run a civics class every Monday, okay? Price went up. It was $20. I told y'all to schedule the class. Now it's 50 You should take all of them. Donate $100. Let's get folks to donate towards the work. The link is right there. GiveSingle.com forward slash solutionary. We need 1,830 more donors at the $100 level. My point in saying that is this. Sign up and get all of the classes. As more people are informed about civics, as more people are engaged in the local, state, and national po politics, as more people understand the history of the Second Amendment, as more people have a better understanding of safe and responsible ownership, as more people are more aware of understanding imminent threat and how to push back against it, now you have a, more, a population or a general public that's more in alignment with their own autonomy, their own agency, their own strength, their own respect for their constitutional rights. And then the pool of people that become public servants are in defense of that, not in opposition to it. These goofballs say this this way to you because they don't think that you know a fuck enough and the general public doesn't. And this is why we have to be vocal, but we have to get educated first. Very important. Very important. It's, it's important. Why y'all think I'm doing these lives every day? Every single, give me by show of hands in the comment section, wherever you're watching the platform on. Tell me if you've taken one of our classes. If I want you to, I want everybody to respond here. If you haven't taken a class, or if you have taken a class, if you have taken a class, name what class you've taken. If you have not taken a class, I want you to tell me why you haven't. Hey, Maj, I ain't take a class. I want to, I want to see something real quick. Okay. And don't listen. It's not a, this is not an attack on y'all. This is not me judging y'all negatively, but I'm y'all brother. I'm a leader. I'm y'all brother. I'm y'all comrade. And I don't mean that in the, like the communism comrade. I mean in the sense of brotherhood. Okay? Family. Okay? Quentin Roy says he have not That's the first one to be brave. Okay? Richie Wood says he hasn't. It's the second person. Okay? These are critical things. That's the reason why they take them joints out of schools. I talk to all the youngins all the time. Okay? The youngins is like, social studies, what is that? Big Rob says he has not. Mr. K2B2, shouts to Mr. K2B2 for that $100 donation yesterday too, my brother. He hasn't, and he got the, he, he got the classes. With that $100 donation, paying it forward for somebody else, you got access to all of the classes. The email came directly to you. The access to the Solutionary Non-Telegram group, which is now private. Okay? Mike White, 2A Advocate, says, I have not. Not enough time. That's bullshit, Mike. You can schedule the classes for whenever you want. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 p.m. We're about to start it where we're going to pre-record a class, and you could do take the class, and you ain't even you, at your own leisure. So we're going to hook you up with that, too. But you got time, Mike. Don't I can't let you... I care about you too much to let you rely on that excuse. You haven't made the time, but you have the time. You ain't hit me up and say, 
Yo, Maj, can you pull me to the side? Can you structure me one for my, my job? I don't get off till 645. So let's let's be clear. I care about y'all too much to let y'all slide out. If I start falling back, my, my laziness and me not being on top of it give y'all a way out. And we don't have time to give anybody a way out. The, it's looking like the final season of America out this motherfucker. Okay? Let me go to some more questions. Or, uh... Krillian says, we had social studies when I was a kid, but I'm 37. Mr. K2B2 said he signed up for $5 monthly. Thank you. Uh, Ryan says, civics... Ryan is our top taking class person, period. Okay? Uh... These are the things that are very important, guys. And I'm, I'm just not going I'm not, I'm not to gaslight us. Everybody in here, this is what I want you to do. In the live that I did earlier today on the Official Black Guns Matter page, follow that on Instagram, Official Black Guns Matter, at Big Daddy 2 Ray, at Official Black Guns Matter, at Maj 2 Ray 999. That's all across uh, Instagram. I did a live over there. And I challenged for 10 people to be $100 donors. Five people, I think, did it. Five people agreed, and I think four might have actually did it. I'm pretty sure it was four. But nonetheless, let's say five more. The reason why this is important, and I'm, I'm going to go back. We're going to wrap up with the, the, the Waltz shit in here in a second. But this is all to a point. These politicians are able to do this and say this type of goofy shit because the general public does not know. More than half of the American public does not know the three basic branches of government judicial executive and legislative they don't know they don't know okay they can pull the wool over our eyes when they know that the vast majority or a small majority of the people don't know and won't hold their feet to the fire that's why they do it so when i made this thing and saying yo we want it's not about you guys buying the class from us the class is now 50 dollars a piece there's three classes if you buy them all individually that's 150 dollars or you could donate a hundred dollars or more whatever anything over a hundred dollars you get access to all three of the classes you get access to the curriculums for all three of the classes it comes right to you it's yours you get t-shirt hookup you get access to the solutionary non-telegram group i'm in the solutionary non-telegram group coming up with your macros your meal plan your workout plan dry fire drills all of that's in the solutionary nine we got a daily activity of nine things you can no longer buy your way into the solutionary nine it's private. You got to take a class in order to get in there. We ain't here to sell y'all shit. We are here for you to pay it forward for others and learn and get more value for it. And then you get more of your friends and family in it. That's what it's about. So when you donate at the $100 level, that's the reason why we give you all of the free shit. Because we are you pointing for paying it forward for somebody else. Krillian says, can we donate to have, hold on, where that shit go? I don't know, what the hell just happened with the damn comments? Let me hide that real quick. Krillian said, can we donate to have classes given to someone that can't afford them? Yes. Yes. Just put that in your donor comment. If you donate $100, you'll have the link. Just send the link to whoever it is. And in the comment section, say, Yo, Maj, this is for somebody else. I'll email you all of the links and access to the classes, and you can forward it to them. Or when I email you, go, yo, Maj, forward this to this person. Yes, this is about getting everybody involved. That's what it's about. Some Quentin says, I need a paid forward class. Just saying, Quentin, hook, shoot me a DM. Follow me. Everybody should be following me on all of these uh, platforms. Mike Trenton says... I'm going to email you all, though. I did the $100 donation, but I don't think I received the email. Still picked up the PDF of Civics. DM me or email me right now. Everybody, my email is majtoure at gmail.com. Okay? Email me. Mike, email me. If you did it, I might have been an oversight. Matter of fact, email me right now. So it's not cap. I want people to see this. Email me right now, Mike. Email me right now. Right now. When you email me right now, bro, maj 2 ray at gmail.com, I'm going to send you every single thing that I'm saying. We can't be capping as activists and advocates. We are up against the Walsh, the Harris Walsh types of the world. This ain't, this ain't like me saying this to just like sound cool. I mean, I'm naturally cool. This is me just saying like, yo, we got to legit do these things. 
We are up against a wealth, the Department of Justice that is weaponized, the, the feds that's going after Diddy, they are the largest, most well-funded legal firm in the world. That's who they are. So we got to be more on point. We got to be more on point. I'm just telling y'all, we have to make sure we're doing this. Guys, if you're just coming in right now, we looks like we got about 500 folks in the chat. Shouts to everybody on X. Shouts to everybody on YouTube.com. Shouts to everybody on Rumble.com. If you aren't following me on all of these other different ones, you should. Do it now. If you want X right now, repost it. Retweet it. This is what we need to make sure that the people... We are building a movement. What part of America do you want to fucking continue existing? What part of the movement are you? Are you willing to fucking put in the work to be better? It's only 15 likes. Hit the like button. Everybody hit the fucking like button. It's free. This is what I'm talking about. I'm, a, I'm the preeminent Second Amendment activist in America. I'm not saying it on an arrogant tip. I'm saying it like we put that work in. Then we say, yo, donate. Then we say, yo, just repost it. Hit the like button. Come on, y'all. It's important. This is what I'm going to ask everybody to do before we tap out. Let's get five folks to pay it forward for others so you can get all of the access. All of the access. Mike Trenton, I'm still waiting for your email. Shoot me an email and say anything. So I can send you, I can respond to your email and send you all of this stuff. Because I want people in real time to see how it happens. Because a lot of y'all be thinking I be capping. We don't do the cap shit. Yeah, I got gun charges. Yeah, I got convicted. Yeah, I'm, I got sentenced today. We got 1,800 donors and 1,830 more donors that we need at the $100 level. The reason why we chalking it to the $100 thing is because of the fact that we need big chunks. We need to buy this building. We need, if something happens to me, the movement needs to continue. And we do that by continuing to finance the movement. This shit ain't about me. And anybody that would tell you that it's about them, they ain't the type of leader that we need to be listening to. All right, Quentin said he just sent the email. Quentin, did you, did you, hold on, Quentin just said, boom, all right, Quentin, I'm going to reply to you right now, check this out, Quentin, as soon as you get that email, I want you to tell me if I'm capping or not, I want you to tell me if I'm capping or not, see if you got all the links to the classes, See if you got access to the shit that I'm talking about. We can't be, we got to be real with what we're dealing with. America, as we know it, could not be here anymore, guys. The only thing that's standing between us and global tyranny is the American concept of freedom and the Second Amendment is the teeth that does that. Okay? That's it. Quentin just said, no cap, I just got notified. That wasn't no bot. That was Maj. We do this. We need 1,830 more donors at the $100 level. Donors. Not, I could just focus and just make people buy the classes if it was just about the money. I want you all to understand something very important. Okay? This is what's important. There is a well-funded, unconstitutional, evil oligarchy trying to snatch the ground right from underneath your feet. OK, we have to inform, empower and educate more people. We do that by saying, OK, this is an individual right for sure. But if I pay it forward for somebody else, I get all three of the curriculums. I take the all three of the online classes. I'm more in a position to teach more people than we get force multipliers. Then you get a collective of people that understand individual rights. The individual by himself can be taken out. But if there's a collective, when there's a movement, when you pay it forward for somebody else and they get the free class, they get to come into the class, they get to learn in person. Now they're not going to be victim to the anti-gun agenda. Our fates are intertwined. Our fates are intertwined. And this is what this is about. Richie Wood says, appreciate all the work you do. Next time you're in mass, let me know and I'll be up there to help out. Thank you, Richie. I appreciate that, bro. Guys, let's get five more folks. Y'all ain't going to do it in the... I don't know why. y'all. For some reason, y'all don't like... Y'all don't like the super chat. I don't know what that is. Whichever way y'all want to do it, though. If you donate a super chat, it's $100. Shoot me an email or put your email. I'm going to send you the classes, too. Whichever way y'all doing it. Bryant Wyndham with the $20 super chat. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate that. 
We need 17 more donors at the $20 level for the Super Chats to hit our goal. Again, if you don't know, the goal is $200 raised because we do this five days a week. Krillian says Super Chat takes 20% of something, does it? I don't know, does it? Does Super Chat take 20%? Mike Trenton with the $20 Super Chat. Appreciate you there, Mike. All right. Mike, did you email me? Just say anything in the email. My email is maj2ray at gmail.com. Boom. Oh, yeah, he will. Ryan, I'm about to send you the joint right now. Ryan gave us a buck 50 last night. Boom. Ryan, I just sent you an email. If I'm capping, call me on it. Live. Call me on it. Trey. Boom. Let me send you this. Trey, you just sent me something. Hold on, y'all. Everybody that's getting the emails right now, call me out if I'm capping. All right, boom. I see you. Tre okay, Mike Trenton, that was you. Tell me what you just got from me. Tell the people what you just got. This ain't about, like, bro, if I wanted to open a dispensary, I'd be cool. America don't need more dispensaries. America need more freedom, more constitutionally protected rights, more informed Americans willing to do their civic process to defend Shouts to German Valencia for the $20 super chat. I like that 999. I like that. Solutionary nine type vibes. Mike Trenton just said it all came through. We can't... Listen, y'all. We need 15 more. Okay, Richie with the $20 super chat. 14 more. Shit, today might be the day we actually get to $200, guys. I'm going to try to stay on. I'm going to stay on. How many we had already? What's the total? Thank you, Mike. Uh... We might actually get it today. I think we have five. We need 15 more, 14 more, something like that. We have to make sure that we are galvanizing. This ain't about selling y'all a class. I could run Twitter ads, talk about the class, and just do it at $50 a piece. I'm aware of that. There's a bigger... Ryan Jackson just got the email. My brother, you are not capping. I'm telling you. It's about the people being empowered. I could just run ads to X with a dope ass video, three different videos talking about civics, firearm safety, and put a thousand dollars behind it. And then people will buy it and I wouldn't have to give anything. I would just max out on each one. I'm aware of that. That's not what this is about. The movement needs to be a living representation of the people getting behind something. Mike Trenton with the $20 super chat. It needs to be a movement of the people getting behind something, doing something for others, a person that you will never meet. But your fates are intertwined with that person. Doing it for them, and then we need to make sure that you get more because you gave more. It's not about the sell. It's about the one hand washing the other and both of those hands getting together and wash the face. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. We need 1,830 more donors at the $100 level. Mr. K2B2 said, also, the BGM show was dope. Huge shouts to Visuals by Jay. That's who shot that episode. That TV show, we working on more episodes. We independent, so we got to do it ourselves. That TV show is unavailable to anybody unless they're a donor. We want to give people that are paying it forward for others more. All of this shit about, like, Oh, I don't, be, I don't be highlighting with the good that I do. You bugging. You bugging. We need to make doing good the thing. Be good for nothing. I want to say that again. Be good for nothing. You paying it forward for somebody else, then I want to pay it forward to you. Get in them classes. Get the curriculum. Ryan. Uh, Ryan's taking most, most of the class. All of the classes. Ryan. Philly in the house. Slow, slow subbies. Appreciate that, slow. Ryan. Put me on blast if I'm lying. Or um, actually, what do I say that everybody should do with the curriculum when they in the class? Comment what you do it. Yeah, it's working, Krillian. Krillian with the $20 super chat. Appreciate that. Ryan, in the, in the chat, I want you to say what I tell everybody to do with the curriculum when they get in the class. It's the intro to the class. Just type it out. We have to make sure that we are, man... The information and ideas are the most resilient. Okay? 
choice more with another twenty dollar donation. I don't know how many. How, how do I find out how much we raised? Somebody tell me what's the number. What's the number that we did? Let me count them. One, two. I'm gonna count the fifteen dollar one as a as a you mean a twenty dollar joint, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me keep going. Y'all bear with me a little bit. Bear with me. I'm scrolling up. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. We at eight. Look so far. Where we at? And and our brother, our brother Ryan came in from the gate with a $40 joint. So let's say 10. Because I don't see no more. Ryan at boom, so that's 10. We need 10 more for the day. 10 more for today. So let's say 10. Choice said eight. Let's say 10. Because our brother Ryan. Oh, Jeremy Valencia with another one. Boom. Am I going over GOA over NRA? I gotta unfortunately say yes. I have relationships with people in both of those organizations. But I gotta go GOA over NRA. I got to. I got to. So we had 11, y'all. We had 11. Mike came through again. With a ten dollar joint, still I'll still say eleven because it's twenty. You know what I mean, listen, this is what I want to say to y'all. I asked the question to Ryan. I said, "What do I say to everybody that comes into the class that takes the class to get the curriculum?" Okay, I say, "Share it, sell it. If money's made, donate some to the Solutionary Center." I say, "If you make a million dollars off of that, break us off if you can. The 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 curriculum is yours. It was painstakingly put together by the brains of the outfit." The brains of the outfit and the brains ain't me. I'm just a, I'm the, I'm the pretty face with some muscles. Okay. But that's what I say. It ain't about, and we sell the curriculums for $10. It ain't about the money. The money is important. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not saying like the resources aren't important. Okay. I'm saying we can get the resources and still do quality work and still empower the people. You just can't be so fucking greedy. I'm not greedy. We got 10 folks in here. Let's say 11. We need nine more at the $20 level. All right? That's the people deciding to say, yo, we're going to do this work. Anyway, guys, give single.com forward slash solutionary. I think that's a good place to wrap up. If folks want to, we still didn't hit the $200 mark. We still nine away. But if somebody just want to give $90, great. That's cool. Or donate $100. It is what it is. Okay. Michael v Vass says, hello, my sorry I'm late. Waltz and Harris are dangerous to 2A and 1A. They have been clear in their words. I'm telling y'all. And we got to be loud about that. We have to be. We have to. Otherwise, it becomes a time where silence is betrayal. That's just what it is. Givesingo.com forward slash solutionary. We're going to wrap up solutionaries. We need 1,800 and let's say 29 because we had $100 worth of donations here. 1,829 donors at the $100 level. If we can get five more folks to donate the $100 level on any of my posts on Instagram, type the word give and I'll send a link to you. On any of my posts on X, type the word give and I'll send a link to you. For that, you get access to all of the online classes, the Solutionary Nine Daily Activity Telegram Group, uh, Black Guns Matter Television Show Episode One, T-shirt hookup, all of those different things. The email going to come right to you. We need to do the work. Yes, I was convicted. Yes, I have been sentenced. We don't have that much time. It has to be the movement. It has to be the movement and not be one person. It's all of us. All of us working hard, working out, spending time with our family, reading. The book of the month for the Solutionary Nine group is, uh, what's the joint called? Uh, habits, highly addictive habits or something like that. My point is, it's all of these things. It's all of the, yeah, I said 10 by 20. We had eight. So we had 200. I'm tripping. I'm thinking the $10. So I think we made the $200. Did we not? We was at eight at 20. Atomic Habits is the, the book of the day. So we made the $200, did we? I'm a high school dropout, y'all. Give me some room. We 10 at two, $20 is 100. We was at eight, okay. So I think we broke the, the, the number. This is the first time that we did it. 
And so this is the goal. We had 225. Outstanding. High five to all of the solutionaries. That's the goal every day. $200. If we do that, that's a thousand. I want y'all to understand that. If five days out of the week we do these streams and we're doing $200 in fundraising every day, that's a thousand dollars a week. That means every month I can add a class or two. I can add a class or two. This is important. The handouts that people get for free, all of that type of shit is important, man. You, this, it's important, guys. Y'all know this. I don't want to sound like a, 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 you know, a broken record, but it's very important. Shouts to everybody getting us over the number. $225. Thank you all. Mike Trenton, everybody with the super chats, everybody on X. Gibson.com forward slash solutionary. Thank you for supporting. Atomic Habits is the book. Everybody that donated. If you donated to a super chat, if you donated to a super chat, I want to do something different for you too. Okay? If you donated to a super chat, I'm going to put you in the Solutionary Nine Telegram group. Okay? If you donated to a super chat today, that group is closed. The, it was closed last night at midnight. If you donated to the chat, $20, I'm going to put you in a Solutionary Nine Telegram group. This is what I want you to do to do that. If you're watching on X, I want you to just send me a screenshot in whichever way. Whatever platform you follow me on, Instagram, my email, show me that you were one of the super chat folks if you're not already in the group because some of y'all that donated today or gave a super chat are already in the group. If you're not in the group and you donated today, somehow get it to me. My email is majtoure at gmail.com. Put it in my DMs on whatever platforms. Shoot it under the scroll under the bottom in the comment section on X. And I'll make sure I send you the link to join the Solutionary Nine Telegram group. Very important, guys. Reading is important. Shooting is important. Health and fitness is important. As our brother Ryan Jackson said, congratulations. We did it, y'all. I appreciate you all. I will see you all tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. Have no idea what we're going to talk about. But whatever it is, it's going to be pop culture, hip hop, the topic of the day. And regardless of what it is, it ain't going to be for the bullshit. It's going to be for the solutionaries. I'll see you all tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. Be safe. Be solutionary.